Hi, kindergartners. It's Miss Mooney. Today for writing workshop, we're going to take a little break from our show and tell unit to do a special kind of writing. Since this week was Veterans Day, we are going to write a letter to a veteran. Then you can bring the letter to school with you. And Miss Rincon is going to help us send these letters to an actual veteran. I know we all love receiving mail, and I know that the veterans will really appreciate these letters and really enjoy hearing from all of you. So from your blue folder, we sent home this Veterans Day thank you paper. So you can find this in your blue folder. If you're not able to find it, any piece of regular paper will work too. So it already says thank you, and it says dear veteran. On this line, we're going to write the date. Now you might be doing this on Thursday or Friday, so it might be 11-12 or 11-13. So just check the calendar. I'm going to write 11-12 on mine. And the year is 2020, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a 20 there too, so the veterans can know when they received this. So it says, Dear Veteran, I'm gonna think about what I could say to a veteran. Well, I know veterans fight hard for our freedom, so I'm gonna write, thank you for fighting for our freedom. Dear Veteran, thank you, and those words are right at the top, so I can just kind of copy them, T-H, a N K. Make sure you're using finger spaces. U Y O U. That's our sight word this week, too. So you should know that one. Thank you for. I'll sound that out. It starts with an F. Or. Thank you for. I don't have much space there. So I'm going to go down to the next line. Fighting. I hear an F at the beginning of that word too. Just like we always do, I'm just going to stretch out the sounds I hear. I, T, and then ing is I N G. Thank you for fighting. Finger space again. For again. Our, our. Read them. E d uh, uh, um. At the end of my sentence, I need a period. I think veterans are very brave. So I think in my next sentence, I'm going to say, you are so brave. I'm going to start with an uppercase Y for the word you. Since it's the beginning of the sentence, I need an uppercase letter. Y-O-U, U. Finger space. Now I'm going to write the word R. The word R is A-R-E. That's a snap word, I know. So, S-O-S-O -so, rhymes with go. You are so brave. I hear the B sound at the beginning of brave. Br and at the end of that sentence, I also need a period. Let me reread what I wrote. Dear veteran, thank you for fighting for our freedom. You are so brave. Next, I think I'll write one more sentence. I think I'm going to write, I appreciate you. I appreciate is a long word. I'm just going to write the sounds out here. Uh, uh, you up, uh, up, re, p, p, r, e, she, a, I appreciate you. Y O U U. I'm going to use an exclamation point now. You might use more of the lines or you might not use them all. That's okay. 
at the end, you can write from or sincerely or love or yours truly, and then you can sign your name. I'm gonna write from on mine, F-R-O-M. Then when we finish a letter, we make something called a comma. It looks like this. And then you write your name. My first name is Rachel. My last name is Mooney. We left you this blank space to draw a picture. In your Veterans Day book that looks like this, you might find some pictures of veterans. Maybe you can kind of try to make your veteran look like one of those veterans. Maybe you will do an American flag. I think that's what I'd like to do on mine. This just gives you some ideas, so I wanted to point that out. I think I'm going to draw the American flag over here. So it's a rectangle shape. And I know this part is blue with lots of stars. Draw as many as I can fit on a real flag. There's 50 stars for all 50 states. Then I know there's stripes like this. I know you made um, flags with Mrs. Rincon in social studies at the beginning of the year, so you know how to make a flag. So maybe you want to do a flag on yours. Maybe you want to choose a picture from the Veterans Day book. Maybe you want to draw what an actual veteran might look like. It's your letter, so you can do it however you'd like. All right. Now, since we're actually going to send this to a real veteran, I want to make it look really nice. So I'm going to color these stars. I chose yellow for the stars. I'm going to keep going on those. And then I'm definitely going to color my flag. I know the stripes are red and white, every other. I know that the middle part of my flag up here is blue. I might do some of my stars red, white, and blue too. So you can kind of do the, all the decorations you want. I think I'll add some of my own stars. I think I'm gonna draw a nice smiley face over here by my name, because I'm really happy about having the veterans. Right, kindergartner? So this is your letter. You can make yours look however you would like. But the main thing to remember is to take your time because we're actually going to send these to real veterans. They'll be so happy to get your letters. Make it nice and neat. If you can write three sentences, that would be amazing. Just try your best. And when you're all finished, bring this back to school on the back to school side of your blue folder and your teacher will take this from you and we will send them to real veterans. All right, kindergartners, happy Veterans Day. Bye.